Well guys, it's Sir Mr. Cherries here and I'm sorry for my voice, I just got out of bed and this is the fourth scripting tutorial about instances. Now, what basically instances are, you may see them in leaderboards and that when they create int values and that. Basically, instances is when you create an object. So basically, basically that's what instances are. They create an object, so that's what I'm going to show you. I'll show you that in the script. Let's bit of a quick start this is. So basically how you create an instance is, well, you, you don't do something like this. Well, first you make a variable out of it. You don't do something like this because it's not going to work. So basically how it's done, you do instance.new and then in brackets with a speech with speech marks inside this word, you do part. So that's what that's basically what we're going to get out of this. So we'll run this script. And then we'll look in here and nothing's happened because you want to know why because we didn't tell the script where to put it um, so basically that's that's how it's not working we didn't tell the script which game service to put it in so how we do that you do comma next to that space that and then you do game dot workspace i'll just misspelled that so it's game dot workspace then run the script and then we have our part and yet that went away because we didn't anchor it because it fell out the sky and um, it was under the base plate as well <clears throat> still sorry for my voice sound a bit retarded so we'll do some stuff with it so we'll do part dot anchored so that basically um, stops the brick from falling down true but otherwise if you do false then it's it's just gonna fall out the sky it's, it'll do nothing so we'll anchor it is true which means yes it is anchored and you can do brick color as well part dot brick color equals brick color dot new basically we're going to change it as bright red yeah you can you can put in a color code as well but make sure you don't have the speech marks with it as well but the brackets so um basically how you do color codes you just type in the numbers like one for example that's white and if you do something like 1020 that's lime green and if you do this one that that just makes it bright red or really red for example so I still would do speech marks in bright red so what we'll do and then we could change the material of it to wood basically what we'll do and we can do transparency transparency 0.5 so you could do something like that so let, let me have a look in properties what else you can do and yeah you can change the position you could change the name of it yeah yeah let's just change the name of it part dot name you do it equals mr cherries's part there we have it but i know cherries is pronounced as this but i misspelt it but i didn't do it by mistake i just thought i'd do it just for a laugh well I could possibly tell you why mis uh, things get misspelled. Well, even new metal bands, they misspelled something like, well, I'll show you for example, there's a band called Korn, which is spelled like this, but when they tried to come up with a band name, they they fought off this band name called Korn, and then they were like, nah. And then so and then someone came up with, uh, with this one, because they thought it's good, but they have the R backwards like this, in the capitals. Well, anyways, back to this, Mr. Cherries's part. So you could, so you could put any name you like in it. You can call it whatever you like. So yeah, we'll run the script. So it's basically under the base plate somewhere. Yes, there we have our part. It's in red wood. So we're gonna try get above the base plate. So how we're gonna do that? Oh, why did I delete the five? So how we're going to do that, we'll do part.position, you don't do something like this because it's not going to work. Well, even though if you put a number on it and you don't have zeros, it's still not going to work. So basically how you're going to do it, you're going to put in vector3, that, uh, that's meant to do with the, uh, the three dimensional coordinates to help it move. So basically that's, oh, I need to put a three next to it because we didn't tell it what uh, dimension that we're going to do. You can do second dimension as well, but right now we're just going to do 
third dimension or three dimensional. Dunno. So we'll do that vector three dot new after you do part dot position and then you do the uh operating uh the operator which is the equals vector three dot new zero ten uh, zero then we'll run it. So where's our part? Yeah, there we have it. So it's above the base plate, so that's pretty good. You can change the size as well. So basically you just, you know, don't do position, you could just do part dot size and then you do vector three dot new then in brackets blah blah blah. <laughs> size vector three dot new. So you could change whatever size you want, you don't have to copy me for some reason. 10, 50, and 25. Run this. And this part is massive, man. Look at this. So, yeah, have a full round with this. See what you come up with. And if it works for you, then you can give me feedback. So, basically, yeah, if you have any problems, then I can um, help you out. So, next, we're going to do the um, we're going to do the hint. So, you may, you may have seen hints. Um, well, I'll tell you what a hint is, first of all. So, a hint is where you get this uh, black bar up upon your screen. So... So when you do instance.new and then hint, but then you put it on game.workspace, that creates a black bar up upon the screen. You may see you may have seen them in many games, some sort of thing, like person 299's many games or P's pods uh, many games. Well it's basically called the pod games for some reason. <clears throat> so ba so basically P's Factory well, also known as Peace Pod, Peace Factory on YouTube, he does very good scripting tutorials. I recommend you watch his videos because he un he pretty much explains everything really good, other than me. <laughs> oh, well, uh, not everyone's better. So basically, how you do a hint? We'll make a variable first of all. You you can either just do a word, but I'm just gonna do a letter. Instance dot new, and then brackets and speech marks hint. Then remember to tell the script which game service you're going to put in. So we put in the workspace game service. Because that's what we have to do. Run that script. And then as you see this black bar up upon, your, up, up upon my screen, sorry. I'm stuttering right now. It creates a black bar. So that's basically how it is. So right now we're going to put in the text. H.text as always. So we do that. And then in speech marks, you do hello, Mr. Cherries with an exclamation mark. Run the script. Hello, Mr. Cherries. And um, if you want that to change uh, text, then you need to put in a while true do loop. So you do while true do. Well, it's also known as a while loop. So you do while true do. It's the same as a for loop, but it's that you do while true or false. Uh, don't do while false do because that just runs it one time. But unless you want to run it one time, then you change true to false. So basically, it should be something like this. So right now, we're, we're just going to do while true do. Oh. So we'll make a variable out of a hint instance.new hint. Then you do game dot workspace here, All right? And then we'll do the text h dot text equals um, this server is now version two point three, for example. And then you could put whatever you, wait you want. You can either put to wait five or wait ten, something like that. So we'll do another text, h.text, if you want to keep this going, if, if you want to change text or whatsoever, you can do that. Report bugs and glitches to me. Basically what I will always put. But mainly, I don't. I just don't do hints very much. I just um, make it out of GUIs. That's what, I'll, that's what I do. I'll possibly um, do a GUI tutorial about making a, a hint GUI out of out of this hint. <laughs> um, if you guys want that, then you can ask me. So report bu bu bugs and glitches to me. H.tags. Have fun playing this game with a smiley face. So we'll run the script. So it should change text every five seconds. The server is now version 2.3. Report bugs and glitches to me. 
So after five seconds, have fun playing this game, happy face. So with that while true Zulu, it's just going to go back to where it was, exactly where it was, which we create our hint value. Uh, sorry, um, we create a hint object, so it goes back to uh, what text it was at, because we just made a while true do loop. But if you want to do it one time, then you could do this. But although you'll have to remove the hint by doing h destroy, basically you could do that. Oh, actually, I I've destro I destroyed it in a while false do. I don't know. I never used a while false do before. Oh well, it doesn't work for some reason. Sorry guys, I really suck at scripting. <laughs> Anyways, um, let me know in the comments if this helped you. So if if you're stuck, then I can well leave out a comment and I can possibly help you out. Or otherwise, you can message me on Roblox and yeah, I'll be able to help you out with that. But I would appreciate the comments bit for some reason because mostly I'll be on YouTube. And um, give this a like if that tutorial helped you out, obviously. <laughs> Well, although for the while false do it didn't really work out for me, I really suck at doing that. <laughs> but I, but I'm okay with while true do loops. So I might do a tutorial about while and for loops if you guys want that. In in order to make a many games and sort of thing, you should learn about while true do or and for loops and kind of like thing. Uh, otherwise, you can just look at a main game script, or you can watch Peace Factory's tutorials. He explains everything really good. He has a many games tutorial. Well, even though it has three parts, you can watch his videos because he explains everything really good, and he's also a really good scripter. So I recommend watch his videos. <clears throat> or otherwise, you can watch my videos, which I stutter stutter a lot, <laughs> which I did right now. <laughs> I'm really sorry for that, but I can't change anything. So yeah. So th thank you for watching this video, just give it a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you later.